Hello, welcome to another vlog. I'm starting in full bed chats. I just got to my hotel in London. I didn't film any of the exit procedure because it was rough. Um, it wasn't that bad, but it was like, um, I ran out this morning, I had breakfast, and then I ran out and uh, got a suitcase at Marks and Spencer's, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then wheeled it back to my hotel and rearranged all my stuff like in the lobby of the hotel <laughs> Just rather embarrassing like I don't really like doing that, but here we are um, This is my own problem and my own fault because I bought too many hats and a parasol And I also found a poster tube which doesn't fully encase the parasol a little bit of the handle sticking out But I think it's pretty good in that suitcase, but I'm gonna check it uh, I might hand carry the parasol in the tube in the airplane because I don't know if I want it going through like you know luggage control handlers <laughs> they throw stuff they're called throwers for a reason anyway uh so took found Catherine my friend in the hotel lobby and we decided to take the train together and then ran into uh Jenny and Zach and Jenny's kid Bella uh Belle Belle not Bella um, and uh, so we were all on the train together. Um, that was exciting because we were in a car where we could all sit together. Um, and this guy kept yelling at Zach that it was the quiet car, but it wasn't the quiet car. He was just yelling at Zach. And then he tried to say something to Catherine and she like told him what for. And I was like, fist bump girl. She was just like, I'm not even gonna listen to you, which was <laughs> like the best Texas thing to say. So she handled him and he shut up right after that. Uh, we were not in the quiet car as it turns out. So that guy was crazy. Um, but we had a nice train ride and then we got to the train station and I got in a cab, which was a lovely cab driver. He was so great. And he snuck me in. I am in Leicester Square, like in, like the Odeon is my next door neighbor. For those of you who know what that is, for those of you who don't, that is where British movies have their premieres. Like that's like the managed Hollywood Chinese theater situation of London. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm like, you can't get a cab to my hotel. So when I have to leave at 6 a.m. with three pieces of luggage, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. So I'm probably gonna have to get some hotel staff to help me and I don't know how I'm gonna tell the car company to get me. So, I'm gonna have to communicate with them. So I'm gonna try to do that tonight. Anyway, I'll do a little room tour now. Um, and then I'm gonna go out with Constance, who I showed you in my costume college vlog. She's amazing and I'm so excited to see her. And I have messages of love from all of her friends who I was with this whole time. So I get to pass those on to her and we're gonna have a lovely pub dinner and catch up a little bit. And then I'm gonna come back here for a moment and then I'm gonna try to go over to St. Pancras station and get my other suitcase out and bring it here but I honestly have no idea where it's gonna fit in this hotel room. This hotel room is really beautiful. Like it's not really beautiful but it's it's a nice hotel. Um, but it's also very, very small. So like I can't actually open the luggage I have. I can open it but it's precarious and it's on the floor next to the bed and it's taking up the entire space between the floor um and it's only really like it's a suitcase that has a flap to open it's not like one that opens double and both my other suitcases open up double so i'm like okay cool we'll do that on the bed then <laughs> so it's a really small small hotel like i don't think i could come here with my husband mm, there's not enough space for both of us <sighs> anyway um it is nice and i feel super safe and comfortable here so yay also i'm like in the center of the universe Remember when I stayed in Times Square? This is like that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me give you a little room tour and then I'm gonna go out with Constance. See ya. Okay, so I'm in the Victory House in London. This is like in Leicester Square. Like you can't get out of your cab here because you have to walk in Leicester Square. Hey, pineapples. Here's some pineapples. Um, so this room is super tiny, um, but nice actually. Um, I don't know really where to put my luggage here. I'm probably gonna clear this off and put it there. Um, I, this is my hotel problem <laughs> in London. This is how I solved my four hats problem. I went to Marks and Spencer and bought myself a new suitcase because that's how it is and I'm allowed to bring three suitcases home so that's what's happening. And then 
Very nice, Lou. Modern, beautiful. So it's a small room, but very nice. So I'm happy with this accommodation. I'm with Constance. Hi, Constance. She's taken me to the Angel Pub, which is a full Victorian situation. And I'm super excited. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're in the secret Peaky Blinders room that's like hush hush and off the, the bar on the other side. And apparently Constance says that there's a beautiful loo. And no, I'm not gonna take you there. Hey guys, we went to Dosa and now we're done and we're sitting around chatting. That's Constance. Um, so this evening is probably not super interesting for you guys, but tomorrow I'm going to the London Museum and so that should be super awesome. Museum of London. Is that what it's called? It's the Museum of London, not the London Museum. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not a reliable resource. That's how it is. And then we're gonna go see Downton Abbey and then I'm gonna go see Waitress. So tomorrow will be more interesting. So we're at the Museum of London, and the, the getting into this museum is weird because you have to go up this secret escalator. And apparently there's a costume exhibit in here, which is why I and a bunch of people that were on my tour are now here, having a little extra tour.
So we found a church. What church is this? St. James Church with Saint Christopher Wren. Oh, oh. Hey, Sir Christopher Wren, who made St. Paul's Cathedral. Thank you for also making this cathedral church situation. Anyway, uh, regardless of this church, we have located Chow here. And there were some bomb empanadas and some bao over there. And we had some Greek salad from this place. There's a whole bunch of food here, apparently, on Monday and Tuesday. Absolutely delish. weird about vlogging today <laughs> um, so like I said we went to the Museum of London this morning and saw costumes and then we basically went back to Leicester Square which is where my hotel is and um, oh it is weird to vlog in London people always talk about that but I never really knew why now I know why people are like what are you doing um, anyway um, I went back to Leicester Square with a bunch of the girls and we did a little walk through Leicester Square and Piccadilly Circus and then went to Fort Fortnum and Mason where I bought four, four, four hats. Just need four bottles of perfume. Um, so let me tell you about those. One of them is Marie Antoinette's perfume. She uh, got beheaded in it and married in it. Um, another one was Queen Victoria's perfume and she got married in it. Another one was I think a 1919 perfume that was worn by the princess of Romania, I guess, when they went to, to, when she came to England, she got it. And then another one is a very exclusive perfume that somehow Fortnum Mason, like they do not make perfume for outside of, um, 
their own shops and Fort Number Mason talked them into making a perfume. So I got some of that and that's actually weirdly one of my favorites. I really like that one. A couple of us got that one. So they also have their Christmas stuff up. Some of it. So um, I'm gonna go back and have a little secret shame time. Um, I'm gonna put this down so I can figure out where I am because I have to, I'm going to a play right now. I'm in the right place. I went the right way. I'm proud of me. <laughs> I actually have a pretty good sense of direction, so like, I'm not good at like a million things, but I'm okay at getting around London. Um, ooh, a whiskey store. Let's just stop and peek in this window. Ladies and gentlemen, look at all those whiskeys. Wow, we might, we might be rolling back here. I feel like I've discovered drinking. I'm 41. <laughs> um, Oh, at Fort Minute, Fortnum and Mason, they have a, uh, what was that? Gin and tonic float. They float lemon sorbet in it. That was pretty good. Uh, I'll put a picture of it here for you. And uh, anyway, then we went over to Liberty so that a couple people could see it and I abandoned some people. And me and Catherine um, just ran through Liberty. And then we went to, um, there's a school group here who's being sort of loud. Uh, we went to see Downton Abbey, which was excellent and I was super into. Oh, there it is. Anyway, um, so then I just went back to my hotel room, dropped my stuff off, and came down here. So now I'm gonna go see this show. And we'll see how it is. Um, <laughs> weirdly, this version of Waitress has Joe Sugg in it, who is Zoe Sugg's brother. If you don't know, I'll link his channel below. I actually watch his channel, so I was like, what? I don't watch his channel like super frequently, but I do watch Zoe's, and so I didn't know this was a thing when I bought the ticket, but here we are. So this is Leicester Square, for those of you who haven't seen it. Um, it's where all the movie premieres happen in London. This guy's playing soccer ball fun. Um, and it's where I'm staying, actually. So, um, which is actually completely inconvenient for having three pieces of luggage because no car can get to my room, so that'll be fun. Um, anyway, Waitress was so good. I had a really good time. This place is jumping. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Last time I stayed here, I stayed in this building right there. Um, there's a hotel there and it's actually really awesome too. With a slightly more room than the hotel that I'm in. It's fine. This hotel is actually totally fine for me um, as one person. But I don't think I could come here with my husband because we would have no room. <sighs> anyway, for those of you who want to know where movie premieres are, they're right there at that Odeon. So last time I was here, it was the premiere of, I think, The Crown. So the doctor was in. Anyway, I'm sta staying down this road. Hey guys, bed chats time. Um, what? So you guys, I mean, I've already caught you up on what's happened today. I saw Downton. I went to the Museum of London, I saw a waitress, that was awesome. If you get a chance, go see a waitress, it's very good. I have a long chat with Kathy today, uh, because people are very defensive on my behalf about the, like, from the Paris vlog, um, where I, like, I was pretty upset. So, um, I was like, yep, yeah, they're defensive. And I'm pissed so like I can understand them being defensive she brought up like it's a good point to say like you guys are only getting my perspective of what happened and possibly the perspectives of like a couple people that you see me talking to while I'm filming but like you know not everyone's perspective hers is like different than mine she had a good trip to be fair she was invited on this trip as a host so she doesn't have to pay the $4,500 so it's free it's a it's a better deal for sure um but yeah I'm to I do want to say that to be fair you guys are only getting my perspective on what happened and how I feel about it and whatever <sighs> so um you know there's that I am I'm a person who's being measured and I will there is a feedback form don't y'all worry y'all y'all seem to be concerned but uh, like I can't take care of myself on this and trust me I can um, 
there's a feedback form and she will get my feedback and I'm sure she's gonna watch this video or that video and she'll know <laughs> so um and and the feedback form will go to everyone on the trip and everyone will fill it out as they need to so and there's a lot of us who feel the way I do so I feel like she will get the memo and hopefully that will help sort the next trip out or at least sort out the communication about what the trip is about and like what you're paying for exactly because I think even that level would have helped a lot so and um Kathy and I did discuss like and I talked to Constance about this yesterday too like just she's like what did you what did you like about this trip and I was like oh well there's actually a lot of things I've loved I loved about the trip um just because I'm dissatisfied with like the tour part and sort of like the financial aspect of it and stuff like that doesn't mean I didn't have good times <laughs> like I didn't necessarily have a good time but I had lots of good times do you know what I mean so like when I was with my friends and we were on our free time I actually had a great time um because I was hanging out with my friends so that was awesome um, I got to meet a lot of really cool people that I will, you know, stay in touch with forever and ever. Um, so that was awesome. I got to hang out with Kathy for like almost two weeks. That was amazing. I don't, I mean, she stays at my house or, you know, whatever. And I see her at costume college or I come to London and she comes down and visits or whatever happens and I see her. But it's never been like we've traveled together before. Like we're both out of our own space. So, um... That was really cool. Like, I totally enjoyed that. I also got to travel with Galen, who I've never gotten to travel with before, and so that was awesome. And um, also, to be fair, someone pointed out to me before that, like, if I hadn't signed up for that trip, I wouldn't have had a reason to do all this stuff, and therefore I wouldn't have started my vlog. Like, I wouldn't have started this channel. And so, like, I guess it's fair to say that that trip gave me you guys, which... I mean, you mean the world to me, so, um, I got to know Austria and know that I love Austria. I got to go to Paris and, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hated the trip in Paris, but I didn't hate Paris. Like, I got a new appreciation for Paris. This thing's, like, poking me in the head. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I went to Paris once when I was younger and I had a very bad time there, so, um, it's not surprising to me that I had a bad time this time, but this time it wasn't Paris's fault that that happened, so, um, I no longer am repellent to, to Paris, like, I want to go back, and I want to bring my husband and my friends and stuff and, like, experience Paris in a way that, um, you know, makes me happy, but I'm not afraid to do that anymore. I guess I wasn't afraid, I was just, like, I'm disgusted with Paris, and now I'm not disgusted with Paris, so it gave me a new, like view on Paris which was really nice so um that was awesome Bath was really cool I got to see so many cool people that um and like spend time with people that I don't get to spend time with but I know online or you know I met because I, I they randomly follow this vlog or whatever so like that part was super awesome the promenade was really cool the ball was really beautiful Bath is stunning all the cities were really were really beautiful um you know so, I don't really know how to say it was, like, the worst tour I've ever been on, but not the worst trip I've ever been on, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't appreciate the tour itself and how that was run and organized and whatever, but that doesn't mean that the whole time was horrible you know like I wasn't just suffer I, if it was horrible I would have left let's put it that way I'm really good at taking care of myself I just f this and like I have enough money that I'll just go where I want <laughs> so um you know like on my person I'm ready I'm ready to leave if I need to so I'm always fine um and my husband's like do you need me to send you money so um yeah I wouldn't I would have left if it was terrible does that make sense? Like, just because I was very upset with the tour does not mean I was having a horrible time all the time. So, anyway, so those were positives that came out of that trip. Um, so, and there were more than that. They're, those are just the ones that, like, are off the, like, tip of my tongue. I mean, I got to meet Zach. That was really cool. We've known each other for a little while. Like, 
virtually, um, but I got to meet him in person and spend time with him and that was really cool. Um, I am now confident that I can handle traveling uh, by myself, which I've never done before. I mean, I'm doing it right now. Um, <laughs> it seems like this is cheating though, because I say I'm traveling by myself. I'm like never alone. <laughs> like all day today I was with people. I was alone at the theater tonight and that was it. Like every other part of my day was with people. Um, and I just, I know enough people in London, so I don't even know why I thought I was gonna, ever gonna be alone, because I wasn't alone in Amsterdam either, like, ever. Like, I was with people almost the entire time. So, <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was gonna travel alone. But now I don't feel weird about traveling alone. And also, like, so many of you guys have been really awesome and are like, if you come back to my city, let me know and I'll show you around or give you tips or whatever you need. And so, um, that made me a lot more confident to, I mean... I wasn't not confident to go traveling alone, but now I feel really good about it. <laughs> like, I feel like, oh, I'll just ask my my viewers, like, hey, are any of you guys in the city? Can you give me some tips about where to be and when? And I'm sure, like, if I got stranded or stuck, someone would help me, so I feel good. And that, that part of this trip has been awesome to, like, leave the country by myself and not really know what was going to happen and have it that part turn out really well. I am having a great time in London, like... I've only been here for 36 hours and like I'm just so like happy and relieved and um I'm doing stuff like on my own schedule I mean even though I'm with people all day the people the same people that were on this tour like the person who ran the tour was out with me today so um yeah I mean we had a good time yeah um, so tomorrow I'm gonna go out with Pandora. We're gonna go to fabric shopping and then she's she's just taking her lunch break because she works near there Goldfinch Road Maybe um, The fabric district in London, so I'm gonna go film that for you guys and then hang out with Pandora because she's amazing um, And I will link her information down below as usual because she's awesome and then uh, I'll be on my own for a while because then I have Stephen Fry tickets that evening. Um, so I'll probably put her around there um, for a bit and see what I can do about fabric shopping. And then I might like chillax for a little bit tomorrow. That might happen um, and have like a nice meal before I go see Stephen Fry. And so I'm pretty excited about all of that. It should be fun. I have a full schedule this week. Like it is packed. And I, speaking of packed, I need to figure out this luggage situation because <laughs> it seems crazy right now. Um, yeah, it seems crazy right now. <laughs> um, uh, I I think that they're not balanced as far as how much they weigh, which probably doesn't matter. But it would be more useful if I could like get more weight moved in. It it, it would be easier to roll them around, I guess. I hadn't really considered how I'm going to get around the airport. <laughs> I think I'm going to need to get a cart. Mm, yeah, I hope the driver can help me get a cart. Because I'm really going to need one of those. Um, yeah, so I feel like I'm just rattling on right now. So I'm just going to let you guys chill out. And I will see you guys tomorrow with more fun and Fabric District. Woo woo! Who is excited about Fabric Districts? I am. See you guys later. Good morning. I am at Goldhawk Road, evidently. Although I'm looking at Shepherd's Bush Market. I'm here to meet Pandora. We are gonna go fabric shopping on this beautiful street. And I'm gonna see what London fabric shopping is like. Okay, so I met up with Pandora. She spent about an hour with me walking me around to every shop. It was crazy. She was so generous with her time. I'll link her down below. I didn't film because we were kind of running, but I'm gonna go into each shop again and look around, so I'll film when I can. Okay, I found... This is nearly a meter. That's okay. Organdy. Crazy organdy. So I'm buying a lot because it's hard to find and it's super cheap. This shop is a treasure trove of cool stuff. Like, I don't know what the hell, but this color organza. <laughs> like, 
imagine. I don't know. Obviously not historical, but still fun. The fun fur wall.
So there's a bunch more, like three or four more shops that I'm just not going into. I'm super burnt out. <laughs> Here's one. At some point you get beverage shopping fatigue. You just are like, no more, please. I feel like I can't carry anymore anyway. There's one more place I'm gonna go back into the marketplace and look at because they had something particularly interesting. Um, but here's another couple shops. Um, but then if you go here into Shepherd's Bush Market, there's one more. Uh, there are some fabric shops in here and I'm gonna go into one or two of these. All right, so I went back in there and I did like what they had. It was only $7 a meter, but also I would have to buy like 10 meters and it's gonna be too heavy like to bring back in my suitcase. So I just gave up. <laughs> I have 51 yards of cotton organdy and a bunch of trims that I bought, which I'm very pleased with. So I'm gonna call it a stay extremely successful and um, go back to my hotel and drop all this stuff off because it's about a 45 minute train ride home. Um, and I'm gonna get myself some good dinner before Stephen Fry. I'm a big liar, I wasn't up as tired as I thought. Okay, so I'm getting 10 meters of this, which is 100% um, wool. I'm getting 12 of this, which is not 100% wool. And then I'm getting 10 meters of this, which is also 100% wool because that's a good price, 150 pounds for the 10 meters. <laughs> so I'm um, at one of my favorite restaurants, What I Eat. It's actually in the middle of Leicester Square. It's called Maison du Mise. Here's the menu, so you know what it looks like. It's Lebanese food, and I adore this food. Um, there's another Lebanese place that I like better, <laughs> but um, it's all the way across town by Harrods, and um, I tend to only go there with Sarah <laughs> from Canada, because she orders for me, and that's, it's better there. Um, but this food is tremendous, actually, for being like, it's like basically eating in the middle of Times Square, and the food is really good. And it happens to be downstairs from my hotel. <laughs> so I am, um, have a little snack because I, and by snack I made dinner, because I realized like I left um, Pandora and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go find some food and sit down and eat and have good lunch, get some food in me and then make good fabric decisions. And then I just went and bought fabric. <laughs> and by bought fabric, I mean, I think I bought like 85 meters of fabric today. I don't, I don't know, like it's so much fabric. Cool. And the problem is some of it's wool, so it's super heavy. Cool. I'll put that in with the hats because the hats are really light. And anyway, anyway, I'm exhausted is what I'm getting at. Um, I didn't actually sleep very much um, because I fell, didn't fall asleep until like almost four o'clock, and I don't know why. I was like unable to sleep. And then I woke up at like 10, 15, so I only got like six hours of sleep. So I was tired going into it, and this is the first day in the entire trip where I woke up and I'm like, oh, my feet hurt. Like, I don't, I'm tired. That's what I nap. Um, but I fabric shopped, and that was awesome, and now I feel happy about that. I'm still tired, I'm really tired. Um, but I'm just gonna eat, and then I'm gonna go back to my hotel room, and I'm gonna chill and possibly take a nap, possibly pack some, and then go see um, Stephen Fry. So uh, the rest of the day is pretty chill and all. I do have to walk to Stephen Fry, but it's not that far, so I'm excited to get food. Basically, I think part of the reason I'm really tired is because I didn't eat lunch, and I basically didn't eat breakfast. I had a chocolate croissant, and that was, and some water, and that was it. So that explains why I'm exhausted right now. <laughs> so, plus I spent a bunch of money, and for some reason spending a bunch of money makes me really, really tired. This day is good, though. <laughs> I mean, I got to see Pandora, that was nice. She gave me the quick and dirty. And then um, I went out and bought a lot of fabric. 
and that always makes me happy. So yay, yay. Okay, I'm gonna eat now because I'm starving. See ya. Early evening bed chats. So I was not wrong. <laughs> um, food is the solver of all problems and all problems can be solved with food. And this attitude is why I am chubby and also happy. <laughs> so fair trade. Um, I ate, it was delicious. And there's a yeah, Lebanese restaurant, I think I told you, downstairs, um, which is really good. So I'm, I'm always surprised when I'm in some super touristy place and I find actually good food. So, um, I feel good. I have about an hour, so I'm gonna work on posting this back the vlog that I've got going and um, possibly pack up a little bit. And if I don't pack up now, I'll pack up before I go to sleep. Not all my stuff for sure, but I'm gonna try to like contain my living environment down to one of my three suitcases because right now they're all, they've all got stuff in them that's like available for me to need and I'm like no I need to have one that is where I'm living out of and everything else needs to be packed and ready to go and that'll help me load balance like the weight and stuff too so I'm gonna um work on getting that done I know I'm not leaving for three days but um sort of will help me keep my sanity and then I can not have to have three open huge suitcases <laughs> in a room where there's not even room for one to be open so that would be nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna work on that. This is where I'm going tonight. I feel like this entire vlog is bed chats. <laughs> um, Stephen Fry was amazing. Just amazing. Like, dreamy. I love him. That's all I have to say. He, he like told us Greek myths for two and a half hours and like word origins and stuff. It was amazing. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. I think that book that he has out about that is gonna be amazing. So <laughs> all I can say is amazing, apparently. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm gonna get that audiobook for sure and listen to that. Yeah, so I had a good day. I bought a lot of fabric. And then I came home, and I had a really good dinner, and then I went to see Stephen Fry. So, like, all in all, awesome day. Super good. Tomorrow, my friend Deanne's gonna show up at, like, I think 10.20 down in, at the train station down the hill. So, I'm gonna go get her, and hopefully we're gonna go to Borough Market and eat some good food, and walk around there, and I'll film that, because Borough Market is beautiful. And then I want to go to Portobello Market and um, check out that because I've only done it once and I think I was like 15 when I did it. So that like antiques are lost on 15 year olds for the most part. There are a few choice exceptions to awesome 15 year olds, but 15 year old Noelle was not into that. So I'm going to go see what there is to see there and see if I can find some treasures. Um, yeah, so um, I packed up two of my bags so they're good to go and I'm living out of the third bag um I can still fit more stuff even in one of those bags over there like it can do the boop thing where you like unzip it some although I fundamentally don't even understand how that works uh, I guess I do I'm always like how does it this whole suitcase is held together with fabric all the way around but I guess it's held together with fabric all the way around anyway right so, yeah, the physics of suitcases. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna get up and go get Deanne at 1020 and then do all that stuff, so it should be fun. And then we have tickets, she wanted to see the play that goes wrong, so I got tickets to that so that she could see it. And we're gonna have a good day. So, that's where we're at. Morning, we're going down to get Deanne. Uh, right next to where I'm staying, uh, basically, is Trafalgar Square. Home of the National Portrait Gallery and a million other things. That over there is Canada House. But we are leaving it to go to Charing Crossroads Station, which is right there. 
tickets again so that we can have a day of fun. First up, we're gonna go to Borough Market, which is amazing and tasty and get some food. Um, if you live here, you go to this market to get some food. It's like bougier than Whole Foods. I don't know how to say that. It's like, it's really expensive, but tasty. Um, uh, if you're a tourist, you go there and get lunch. What up, peeps? We have Deanne and Chris. Chris is going to a job interview. So we're going to Borough Market. Apparently, Chris is going to Borough Market. Um, yeah, I'm like, that looks Borough Markety. Uh, so, we took a train here, which I've never taken a train within London before, so usually it's always underground or bus. So, this will be fun.
Okay, so we're currently in Portobello Road Market, which looks different than the last time that I was here. It's definitely uh, not so stuff and more old stuff. Looking for some old stuff, but we'll see what we can find. We found a Banksy store. Like, isn't this exactly what Banksy is not about? I think Banksy would be horrified. I love tweed. We should go in the store, Hatters and Tailors. So this didn't really work out so well. It says that the market's open like basically Wednesday through Sunday. It's not, it's really Saturday is the day and I'm not here on Saturday so let's sigh. Maybe next time, maybe next time. So we are at, where are we? Covent Garden? Covent Garden. Covent Garden at the pie shop and I'm having a mini steak and Ale pie for your purposes. It's not actually ale. What was it? Steak and something? Stout. Steak and stout, which is pretty much steak and ale. I also went to a bunch of little fabric stores in Soho and got some cheeky ribbon for Hatcham. You are now informed. This is what Covent Garden looks like. Do whatever you want, man. You got one last night. You want question? <laughs> Hey guys, um, we are on a train from Mary LeBourne to Oxford today to go see Tim and James, who are my co-workers, or at least were my co-workers. Um, yeah, so I crashed out last night, which is why I did not do bed chats. I came home and just like laid down and that was the end of the world. <laughs> um, we went to Borough Market, had a good time, went to Portobello Market, we filled out, but still had a good time. Um, a bunch. We went to Covent Garden and got some more food. <laughs> we went to the play, which was really good. Again, I mean, I've seen it before. So. Um, do you recommend that? It's very silly. Like if you're into silly stuff, it's great. Yeah, it. The play that goes wrong is what it was called. Um, and then I came back and I just crashed out. So that's why no bed Um Yeah, I'll try to show you as much box art as I can today, and we should have a good day with my buddies. Okay, I'm in Oxford. We have James and Tim, and I can't see you at all because you're right in the path of the sun. Anyway, no, I can see you, I can't oh, okay. see them. Um, so here's some cute little Oxford. We're finding brunch, evidently, and then we're gonna drink where Tolkien drank and C.S. Lewis drank, and then we're probably gonna drink some more. Basically, I think I'm here to drink, guys. I'm ready to go home, so today it could be a day of drinking and that would be fine with me. Luckily, I'm with two guys whose entire goal in life seems to be to drink, so that's working out well for me. 
Oh, I would like to see Oxford proper so that I can show them. This is Tolkien and C.S. Lewis's bar. Hello! This is what I think is the last bed chance. Um, today was really fun. I went to Oxford, which I haven't done for a really long time. And the last time I went there, I think I was definitely a teenager. I might have been like 14 or 15. And we went on a bus. <laughs> so, um, it was really cool to just take a train there and wander around. It was fun and beautiful. Oxford is stunning. And I got to chat with my friends for a really long time and um, hear about what's going on with them and go to a bunch of different pubs, which was fun. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm not a drinker, but you would never know that based on these vlogs. <laughs> I feel like I have a, a gin and tonic all the time. So anyway, apparently I'm a drinker in Europe. I'm just not a drinker in the United States. <laughs> um, yeah, so today was really fun. So I just went to Oxford and back and um, then I had dinner at the Lebanese restaurant downstairs, which I filmed in a couple days ago. So it's the same place, had the same thing, had a hot cocoa. It was like my 93rd hot cocoa of this trip. <laughs> Europe does hot cocoa really well because it's not overly sweet, which is really nice. 
Um, so it's about eight and I am gonna take a shower and get super clean and then pack everything I possibly can into these three suitcases because I have a 6.15 departure time tomorrow. My flight is at 9.35, I'm checked in and they know I have three bags coming so hope everything works out. <laughs> Should be fine um, as long as my driver can find my hotel. <coughs> um, because it's not really anywhere that you can drive to so he's gotta like put his car somewhere and then come find me I guess because I'm gonna need help to the car like I don't know how he's gonna tell me where he is otherwise because there's 15 different approaches to this square so I guess we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, I might, um, film a little bonus on the plane. I also might not, so we'll see. Um, but let me see how I can wax poetic about this trip for five seconds. Um, okay, so I figured out the way to say how I feel about this last three weeks, which is my trip was good. The tour was bad. Does that make sense? So like I've had a really good time in general on the trip with the exception of like the BS that went on in the tour that I just was not at all into. <laughs> but even on the tour there were like awesome things that happened. There was like um, you know the costuming was all, all fun, hanging out with my friends was fun, getting to see those cities was fun, like everything, everything that didn't revolve around the organization of the tour itself was awesome so I did have a good time on this trip like I don't regret this trip I regret the tour kind of <laughs> but um kind of also not I guess I got really good friends that'll have from for life out of it we have a common bonding now <laughs> because we can all be like oh the tour <laughs> um which you know sometimes crappy things happen but you can bond over it and then it's awesome anyway so that's kind of how I feel about it um yeah so I don't really regret going on this adventure at all I regret <laughs> a lot of money spent on some stuff that I didn't get <laughs> but say la vie it's like water under the bridge and I can't really do anything about it now um, lots of people are like, demand your money back, and like, that's just not a thing. So, you all can stand down. I'm not gonna do that, so just accept that. There is a survey coming, and I will be thorough in my answers, and so will everyone else that's upset. So don't worry, they will know. Um, but it's not a, a refund situation, I think. <sighs> I know you guys are just defending me, though. Like, I really appreciate it. I love the love that you guys give me. And I love how defensive you get on my behalf. That's really lovely. So thank you all. But <laughs> I'm just like, we're going to put this behind us and move on with life. So um, when I get home, what? Uh, I'm going to take a few days to just sleep. I'm the tiredest I've been in a very long time because I just keep going and going and going and I'm exhausted. Like today I was on the train and I've never slept on a train before but I slept on the train home. Um, I was really tired on the way there. So um, I actually feel much better now because I've had a lot of hot chocolate. <laughs> so um, yeah, I have to really early wake up call tomorrow though. So I think tomorrow's gonna be rough. But I have two first class seats, one from London to JFK, New York, and I'll like wave at Bernadette. I'm actually there for four hours now. I used to only be there for an hour and a half. Now I have four hours. Um, I will wave at her as I land in JFK. And then again, as I take back off going to San Francisco. And then I have a hop from uh, JFK to San Francisco, which will be um, also in first class. So I'm like, excellent. <laughs> um, I hope to get at least some sleep on the plane. And I hope that my jet lag is not bad. <laughs> I get home at like, I want to say eight o'clock at night, which is great because I can get home, say hello to my kitties, snuggle them for a little bit, be wired and weird for a little while and then go to bed and basically wake up at the time that would be normal. So hopefully that'll reset me back. I usually land at some absurd hour and that ends up like messing me up for weeks. So I hope that doesn't happen. 
Um, and then, anyway, I'm gonna take a couple days to just chill and, like, not think about this. Um, I had stress dreams last night. I don't know if I told you guys yet this yet, but I had stress dreams that people were asking me, what are you gonna work on next? And I was like, I don't know, I can sell anything, and I'm paralyzed with choice, and I was really panicky, and I'm like, why am I dreaming about this? <laughs> Like, I'm not paralyzed by choice, actually. Like, I know what I'm gonna do when I get home. I'm gonna chill for a little while, and then I'm gonna start finishing my UFOs. Like, I want that list gone. So, that's what I'm gonna do for a little bit. And then, I'm gonna start working on, um, well, so my 18th century dress was, um, actually a mock-up. So, um... <laughs> the one that I wore at the Chateau was a mock-up. It was my wearable mock-up, which I love. Um, and Oh, I need to repair that. Oh, that'll go on my UFO list. Um, <laughs> it was a wearable mock-up, so... Um, I'm gonna make the actual, probably. Um, there's a couple of other 18th centuries that are sort of based on the same pattern-ish that I would like to also try and make, so that I have a little wardrobe-y wardrobe. I have a Regency ball gown that I still want to make. Um, for whatever future Regency events that I might decide to go to. I would like to have my Regency wardrobe sorted so I never have to deal with Regency again is really what I want because I don't love Regency. It's not my jam. Everybody looks pregnant who is not microscopically thin. You can't compete with that. So I might, I might like one more day dress and then an evening gown and then that's it. I think I'll be done. But all the hats, all of the hats, like the bonnets, the Regency is great for bonnet time. So, um, I might do make some hats. That might be something I work on. Um, and then a bunch of us are going to Isabella's ball in May. So we're gonna go, I'll be back in Bath. Actually, funnily, I'm coming back here probably to London, where I am now, that's what here means. Um, I'm coming back here probably in November because my husband and I come for Thanksgiving every other year and it's that time. And then I'm gonna come back in May for this ball. Um, tickets to London are super cheap right now, so I'm gonna book that and lock it in. Um, so that should be exciting. Uh, yeah, so I have a whole bunch of stuff to work on and I know what those things are. And I have a plan, so I don't know why I'm having stress dreams about it, that's just stupid. But here we are. Anyway, I'm gonna take a shower now and get packed and ready to go and uh, then head to the airport tomorrow. If you liked this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, um, and leave comments below, down below, and tell me like what's your favorite thing, what's, a, what's your favorite place you've ever been, where is a dream place you'd want to go, have you been to London, what do you love about London, um, that kind of thing, and also obviously what you're working on, what are you making. What are you listening to? What are you reading? I love that. Those are my favorite things to get when you guys tell me what you're working on and what you're reading and stuff because then I get book recommendations and I find out new things that I never knew existed and it's all good. Anyway, um, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!